Hey everybody, what the heck is going on? My name is Usman and today I'm coming in with a no BS video. Let's talk straight about DLC 5. So you probably have watched the Gaming Revolution video and the Glitching Queens video and they're basically saying that DLC 5 is 100% confirmed due to the credible source saying there will be a DLC 5 coming into Black Ops 3 Zombies and that credible source have got this information straight from Treyarch. That's what I've been hearing, you've been hearing too, that's what I'm assuming and I feel like I know who they are talking about because I've, I was also chatting with my group like weeks ago and the information came from one of the most credible source ever from someone that doesn't need to lie and I feel like they are also having the same source but I haven't spoken to the gaming revolution nor to glitching queen privately or personally but what makes me uh, want to make this video is the fact that glitching queen is sure about this information and I want to add my two cents into this and make this even more believable for you guys that may have any doubts because I also started to believe that there will be a new DLC 5 uh, or a new DLC for Black Ops 3 but probably will be called something else by Treyarch. I also have been told that there will be four maps that we will be getting. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about here it is a moon, ascension, origins and mob of the dead and four more maps including eight in total but I'm not sure if they will come together or later on. I will try my very best to explain this the best way I can and make sure I provide the logical proof that actually hopefully clear your doubts that you may have if not you can definitely reach out in the comments but let's get started and just keep in mind that this is coming straight from the source that doesn't need to lie and this is in my eyes too this is like 100% legit uh, but before I was even told I started to kind of see this coming we had moon remaster loading screen back when black ops 3 was about to release we had the new blueprint as well of the wave gun in one of the multiplayer map of black ops 3 but in their eyes in the raft we later found we blow up the moon and that's when a lot of people including myself your yeah hey hey your boy skizzle started to believe that there will be uh there wouldn't be any moon remaster but as we know jason blendell is the head of treyarch and he does not like infinite warfare and infinite warfare sales are significantly poor and dlc1 just underperformed and this dlc5 is a backup plan to make money that is just like their main goal and they recently have released a new newton's cookbook so we can get more gobble gums but of course you have to waste a lot more gobble gums in order to get that one gobble gum such as perkaholic and this is also a low-key new method for them to make money and in dlc5 we will have remaster maps that will allow us to use over gobble gums so you start to see dots connecting and of course we have official word of activision and treyarch that we will have new content for black ops 3 in 2017 and content in my eyes just couldn't be uh new guns or weapons and the fact is they said we will have more content after we got the PPSH and M16 in multiplayer and on top of that we got two new comics books already and there are seven in total that we will get and in the first two that we just got uh, we got two new loading screens of course those are Nuketown and Ascension remaster loading screen and there will be seven comic books in total so you can imagine seven remaster loading screens and on top of that we have moon loading screen already and that makes eight total remaster maps but the source said it's confirmed that we will get mob of the dead origins ascension and moon to begin with and they will be remaster maps i wasn't told if we're going to play as origins characters and mob of the dead or not but that could be because i have not asked them personally uh, because if you have watched uh, my boy gaming revolution video he actually bring this up but the logical proof for this i personally could provide to you guys is this that after zetsubu no shima ending cutscene our origins characters have death Definitely went back to Mob of the Dead to collect blood vials and that is going to be the easter egg for Mob of the Dead Remastered and another logical proof will explain why we will get Moon and Ascension not just uh, that but actual remaster maps uh, if you take a look at the new loading screen of Ascension you can see Samantha looking into the gobble gum and that is like a clear hint that we will see Black Ops 3 gobble gums in that map Ascension and if it's in there well we will see gobble gums in all of the remaster maps and Newton's cookbook is another hint like I explained earlier and to the left of this Ascension remaster loading screen you can see Dr. Monty is drawing the blueprint of can 44 which we got in the Giants so that will explain this new Ascension that we will see will be prior to the Giant and of course the Giant is prior to their Eisendrach and if you think about it back when their Eisendrach was first revealed a lot of people started to see those rockets as Ascension rockets and if you take a look 
in the new loading screen of uh, Ascension, that's what's happening here. We got rockets that are actually tampered with, and this new Ascension is prior to both the giant and their eyes on draft. And their eyes on draft is when we blow up the moon, but the new Ascension is prior, and the moon, the, the remaster moon, is going to be too. It's gonna be prior to their eyes on draft, and this is going to be my prediction now it is that when you die or end the game on the new moon remastered we will see their eyes on draft rockets blowing up the moon or we will have a new easter egg which is going to be all about leaving the moon and going back to earth and possibly sending Dempsey 1.0 back to earth just like we have seen Dempsey coming back to earth and that will be connected to their eyes on draft of course and that is the stuff I'm super stoked about of course that's like my prediction but the proof is there and the thing is the source is very big and they doesn't need to lie it's not like they but it's just like I'm actually saying that they because I cannot let you guys know who they are all I'm gonna say here is that they are already built in terms of their brand and social media and whatever they put out will still make them money so all I'm gonna say here is that make sure you watch out what anyone big in the community says about DLC 5 how they title their video what they say in their video and everything like that and just keep in mind why they need to make DLC 5 video because they are at a point where they do not need to make DLC 5 videos in order to actually make money on YouTube and kind of like grow or whatnot because they are already big and if they put DLC 5 and they say that we're most likely or we're surely gonna get DLC 5 well in future they may ruin their image so just keep that in mind but if you found this video informative hit that like button share this video around and subscribe if you are new and get hyped the first big evidence let's start from here this first evidence comes from Treyarch themselves they last live streamed on December 14 2016 and they particularly talk about us getting some new updates in 2017 just so we're on the same page Newton's cookbook came in 2016 and Treyarch is talking about some new updates for us to see in Black Ops 3 in 2017 take a listen that's a good question What's the team got is it <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I can't say anything specifically at this point in time, but I can say that, you know, as Treyarch, we are excited about this game. We're excited and passionate about our community and our, our fans. And as long as they continue playing our game, we're going to continue to support it in the same way. So uh, I think we can look forward to another healthy and uh, fun year of updates in 2017. I will have the full stream VOD link in the description below if you guys want to check that out after this one. So that tells us that we have something to look forward in 2017, which is absolutely exciting for uh, Black Ops 3 Zombies. Now, here is the crazy part that I didn't pay attention to when I first heard till now. So if you are not aware, we're getting Zombies comics periodically, and there will be three comics in total that we will get that will explain some of the Zombie storyline, and it's a way for Treyarch to give us more information and they can also tease us if they want to and that is exactly what's happening here. The first one was released back in October 26, 2016 and on the last page we basically had a new remastered loading screen for Nuketown Zombies. At first I was just like meh, just a normal thing for Treyarch to do, they always do that shit uh, and on December 14th, 2016 they live stream and said we will get new updates in 2017 they released Newton's cookbook the day after so we know in 2017 we're getting new in-game content for Black Ops 3 and today January 11th 2017 we got the second issue of the Call of Duty Zombies comic book and guess what we have a new remastered loading screen but this time it's for Ascension this is a old one from Black Ops 1 the original one and this is the new one in the second comic issue we can see huge differences here the first one being of course dr. Monty working on something here mr. Dalek Jetty said and confirmed it's the blueprint of can 44 and the summoning key that we have seen and that we still have in the giant and dr. Monty is scripting it which means this new ascension happened before the giant and we also got Samantha looking into the gobblegum machine and we know gobblegum machine is in black ops 3 zombies and that's the new creation of dr. Monty that 
that we only have seen in Black Ops 3 Zombies. So that tells us that we are going to see the, the Gobble Gun Machine in this new remaster, at least for in terms of this remastered loading screen. And we also got rockets here, and these rockets are from their eyes and Draka, and their shadow doesn't say it's 115, it just like straight up 111 that we have used to blow up the moon in their eyes and Draka. So let's just say we have Nuketown Remaster, now the Ascension Remaster. Well, these are only two maps, and it doesn't make sense. There has to be four uh, maps in order for that to make sense, right? Well, we have got countless evidence about Moon Remaster in Black Ops 3 multiplayer, in Zombies itself as well. The monitors are always showing the Griffin Station and there are plenty more that I'm sure you've already heard about it, but a lot of people had doubts, including myself in it, uh, till now about Moon Remaster, that after we blew up the moon in the Rise of Draka, there is not even a goddamn way that we will see, but it does make sense for Moon Remaster to happen because as we can see, this ascension is prior to the giant and the giant is prior to their eyes and Draka. So basically, Moon Remaster will be before their eyes and Draka. And there are multi universes in zombies, so it can easily happen in that regards. But if it's same universe, it will be prior to their eyes and Draka. So now we have three remaster maps. Where is a where is the new one? Where's the fourth? one. Before I tell you, let me take you back to the DICE event that took place before we got a reveal uh, of the giant, which we know is a remaster map. They teased the new remastered loading screen in that DICE event for the giant, as well for moon. Uh, we know the giant happened, but not the moon. Also, before we got revelations, we had a new title update in which we got other maps, textures such as Kino, Origins, Ascension, all the other maps that we do see in Revelation except for Ascension. Yes, we did not have Ascension parts in Revelation. So we know we have Nuketown, Moon, and Ascension. And Ascension, we got some of its textures in the Black Ops 3 files. Of course, if that will ever take place, we will get new updates, that sort of stuff. So we have three maps now, and we need one more. It makes perfect sense that we're going to see a new remastered loading screen for an unknown map. I hope that's like Origin but that will be in the last issue that's kind of like the pattern that I do see and the last issue is going to release on March 1st 2017 and that is going to be the final one that we still have yet to see and I'm super pumped to see what map would that be let me know what map you guys think or want to see and also does this make sense to you let me know in the comment section down below but if you've enjoyed the video definitely leave a like share with your friends and subscribe for more videos on the channel and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video or with a new live stream.